Welcome to Futurama 2. Welcome to a journey into the future. A journey for everyone today into the everywhere of tomorrow. Let us explore together the future. A future not of dreams, but of reality. It is now tomorrow. On the moon, there is no air to breathe, no rain to fall, no sound that can be heard. Yet here is man exploring, building his first bridgehead in his span of space. Lunar rovers float magically over powdered plains, range the crater's edge, their elastic train-like bodies conforming to every surface character of the moon. Here are bases of communication and supply, islands of existence built to withstand the melting heat of the lunar day, the shattering cold of the lunar night. Men in space now monitor the Earth, while men on Earth are finding a whole new world of answers to the worldwide needs of man. A diamond brilliance draws us to a frozen shore, to Antarctica, the southern polar cap of the world. Here, nations of the world, speaking the common language of science, probe for the Earth's secrets through countless centuries of ice. In mobile laboratories, form expeditions into the vast white wastelands of the still unknown. And here is Weather Central, forecasting to the world the great climatic changes born in the Antarctic's never-ending winds. Technicians kept warm within their walls of ice gather data from the depths of space, from polar winds, surrounding seas, in microseconds relaying information wherever needed anywhere on Earth. Three quarters of our Earth lies beneath the cold, still deeps of the sea, a water world in which we now can find abundance far beyond our dreams. Now we can farm and harvest a drifting, swimming, never-ending nourishment, food enough to feed seven times the population of the Earth. In aquacopters, search the ocean floor to find miles deep vast fields of precious minerals and ores. And in the deepest trenches of the seas, study at first hand long hidden secrets of survival. Work easily the rich oil deposits of the continental shelves, while trains of submarines transport materials and goods along the waterways of the undersea. And in warmer seas are new realms of pleasure, a weekend, if you wish, at Hotel Atlantis in the kingdom of the sea. A holiday of thrills and of adventure, of radiant wonders in the sun-bright gardens of the sea. Fabulous coral reefs lead us back to the land, an equatorial land. Now, technology has found a way to control the wild profusion of this wonder world. A jungle road is built in one continuous operation. First, a searing ray of light, the laser beam, cuts through the trees. Then, a giant machine, a factory on wheels, grinds up the stumps and jungle growth, sets the firm foundation, forms the surface slabs, sets them in place, and the roadway bed is paved. These forest highways now are bringing to the innermost depths of the tropic world the goods and materials of progress and prosperity, creating productive communities that can enter profitably the markets of the world, and offering to us all enchanting tours through the storybook forests of tropic lands. The mountain barrier, legendary challenge of man, now invites communal living in a world of awesome beauty. A new system of highways spans the continents to transport men and goods swiftly and separately across the land. 
and for our deserts, a new technology. Waters from the sea made fresh as rain to nourish crops planted in the sand. Produce from seed to shipment programmed and processed by a new agriculture. A science of plenty for an ever-growing world. People live today where they will. Neither terrain nor distance a deterrent to where the men of the city build their homes. All roads lead, as they have for centuries, to the great centers of commerce and communication, as the Continental Highway now leads us to the city of tomorrow. Plazas of urban living rise over freeways. Vehicles, electronically paced, travel routes remarkably safe, swift, and efficient. Towering terminals serve sections of the city, make public transportation more convenient, provide ample space for private cars, and from a lower level, covered moving walks radiate to shopping areas that are now truly marketplaces of the world. Its traditions and its faiths preserved, there is new beauty and new strength in the city of tomorrow. Technology can point the way to a future of limitless promise, but man must chart his own course into tomorrow, a course that frees the mind and the spirit as it improves the well-being of mankind. <laughs>